All right, folks, the time has come. Uh, it's Sunday, October 21st. It's uh, just shy of 9 a.m. The sorghum has been opened. I can tell you right now, immediately, I am very, very pleased. Whew, that is strong, in a good way. Wow. Okay, I made the decision this morning um, after uh, morning feeding to the beef herd, they were wiped clean of food again. I mean, they licked the wagon for crying out loud clean, and uh, there wasn't a drop of hay left. Um, it's time to do something. Uh, you can't keep feeding, we can't keep feeding that much hay already and all that corn silage. So supplemental is starting now. Uh, perfect world is I got 380,000 pounds of sorghum baleage here. So anyway, you're looking right here at the first two dry bales that capped the end of the row. And these things are just full of juice down at the bottom. It's actually good hay. Uh, that's, that's a good bale of hay right there. <clears throat> this is garbage. This I will be feeding out. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do here. This was the first true bale of sorghum baleage. It looks pretty darn fair on this end. It's got a different smell to it, I will tell you that. But, as you can see, um, I can almost promise you I will not be feeding this out. I don't know, I'm probably going to bring it to the farm later on, open it up, and just uh, flip it up on side, unwrap it, and see if it's just the uh, mold on this end. Hopefully not too far along. According to this end, it's perfect. We'll have to take a look at it. The second bale is 100% perfect. Um, <clears throat> I gotta be honest with you, this was a new beast for me. Um, I, I'm for the most part pretty well in tune with alfalfa baleage. Uh, sorghum, there was a lot of unanswered questions. I was really concerned about how many in the first beginning of this row was going to be garbage. Right now, I'm just seeing one. Uh, and to be honest with you, in a lot of cases, with alfalfa, the first two bales are garbage. So, awesome. <clears throat> now this is, uh, it goes without saying, but this is, uh, this is one of the first crop rows here. I didn't do a very good job in management of, uh, putting my rows in a very convenient place because <laughs> here's the deal. I opened up this row and it's going to be continued to be fed off of now. Well, I'm going to have to, you see what I'm going to have to do. <clears throat> Another month from now, I'm going to be driving all the way down that way through these rows, but whatever, big deal. Very, very surprised in the sag of the bale. I think it goes without saying that I bailed this stuff just a little bit too wet. Um, that's that's a hell of an egg-shaped uh, sag there, but uh, it seems good to me. The, the texture, <clears throat> the smell, the, the feel of this baleage seems really good. Now, I'm not going to immediately haul this out to the beef herd. I'm actually going to test one out on this steer lot. Um, they actually needed corn silage this morning. They're not going to get any. We're going to try baleage. Sorghum baleage. I got to say sorghum alfalfa now. It's not just alfalfa anymore. But um, if I had to base this on looks, the smell, and the texture, and everything else, folks, I'd have to say that I am extremely a very happy, happy customer right now. 
You need to understand, I put a pile of money into this. <clears throat> a pile of money for me. Um, contrary to other belief, I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of money. <clears throat> um, I make things work. Uh, this, this, was a, this was a gamble for me. This truly was an actual gamble. Um, granted, the seed didn't cost a whole lot, but working up a field and not putting this into oats or corn or anything else and taking a gamble on 18 and a half acres, which is a lot of property for us, this was a true gamble. And then all the money spent in wrapping and everything else, the extreme amount of fuel um, with cutting, bailing, wrapping, the list goes on and on. This was a true gamble. I'm very happy to tell you though, so far, I'm not complaining. It feels good to possibly win. Uh, and I think that's what we're doing here, folks. This is uh... Wow, I wish you could smell that. Holy crumps almighty. The stems, they just break right apart. There's nothing too stocky about them. They'll just chew right through that. Well, we're gonna find out. Wow. Now what I'm gonna do, because I've already opened up this row, and once you open up a row, you need to feed off of it. A bale a day would be really nice. We'll see what happens. Um, I am going to have this tested. Um, that takes a small amount of time though. I am going to begin feeding this. The beef herd's probably going to get one of these bales this afternoon. Uh, steer lot's going to get one right after this video. I am going to get it tested, but I am going to start feeding it before I get results back. And. Um, I personally don't see a problem, but I also don't know enough about this stuff. Um, this is a new beast, but um, yeah, it's a good Sunday morning so far. I think there's 316 bales out here, all off 18 and a half acres. You see, uh, you, you see the sorghum's all dead. I tell you what, there was a hell of a regrowth that had started after my second and last cutting, but. Um, Boy, she died off real quick once we got that first frost. <clears throat> so, well, here we go. Time is now. Um, thus far, I'm happy. Stay tuned right after this video. I'm going to post another one of me heading to the farm. Oh, I'll be at the farm already. I'm going to feed this to the steer lot, and we're going to see how they react. So, all right, folks, happy Sunday morning to you. hope your weekend was okay. And uh, we're going to talk to you sooner than later.